music, whatever the music is telling me to be, whatever it's telling me to do. How do you write a line like, from Pluto to your anus, we are underground things? For doom, it ain't a weight bass booms in your face. That's dope, man. Welcome to the world of rap. But explain how you wrote that line, from Pluto to your anus. From Pluto to That's your anus. <laughs> you know, from Pluto to your ass. We underground famous for doom and 808 bass booms, man. That's just boasting. But isn't this almost pre-pubescent, barely literate? Probably to you, you know what I mean? Because you sound smart as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not your cup of tea, of course. It probably sounds ridiculous to you, you know what I mean? But what do you say to the... Your music probably sounds ridiculous to me, no offense, you know what I mean? But... I don't know what you listen to. We got one thing in common. We like Mike. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean. I mean, so like some of What do you say <coughs> to, the, to the allegation that, that this is just puerile nonsense? It's just vacuous, low-grade, prepubescent musings that most adolescents have from Pluto to your anus. I say there's no buy that. Get mad at that, you know. I used to get mad at people saying that, but you know that's just what we said earlier. That's just the frosting, you know. There's a lot of cool shit to that's ICP opinion, that's, that's, that's deep, deep in the sauce, man. Some of our lyrics might come across as juvenile when you first hear them. I can't help but write how I write. We write like that. That's how we write, you know what I mean? But uh, there's so much deepness to it that, that juggalos discover and find and, 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 and cherish and, and use as do far you, as... Do you think that the lyrics should be treated in the same way as poetry should be treated? should be regarded with a similar respect? Sure. I mean, it, it's I all art form somehow. I mean, that's pretty flattering if you would consider our music like poetry. I mean, no. <laughs> I think it needs to be spit. It needs to be... It, it, read, read on paper is one thing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it sounds like crap. Read, read on paper. That's why I'm not a big fan of putting the lyrics in the CD. Delivered and performed they can sound a lot cooler and, 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 and come to life a lot more the way you intend them to when, when we perform them correctly. That's both, a whole part of the art form of it, you know? Both of you have children. Both of you are very caring and committed to your children. How would you feel if your children grew up to sing things like, I stab old people, ladies, I don't give a fuck? Cool. I mean, it's not, they can listen to what they want. That's how. How would you feel if they <coughs> use that kind of language? I would be hurt if they used it in public when they're not supposed to. When they're riding to and from school in a carload of homies, I wouldn't care. How would you feel if they spoke to their teacher and said that? Oh, my kids are in eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? I don't be what? talking to people like that. You know, around their boys, I'm like. I'm like, you're going to say what you're going to say. I ain't going to know, so you know what I'm saying? But around adults and stuff like that. My, my, my son like, would be in big trouble. They're raised the right way. Too, like that. He wouldn't. He's in trouble. He wouldn't allow that. No, I wouldn't. So all of the anxiety in law enforcement about the influence of your lyrics, about juggalos being involved in violence, you think that that is misplaced. It's just unnecessary because your music is not responsible for it. I think I think juggalos are too vast and too big to be classified as anything like that. Some people are are, are you know police and are juggalos. You know what I'm saying? How do you know they? Uh, we just met a cop a cop yesterday that loved our music. I mean, I, I just seen a picture of, of of soldiers serving in Iraq. You know, standing next to an ICP tag that they paint. Or with their, their face painted they, they, like us. Are they villains? Yeah, are, are they, they a gang? Are they a gang? Yeah, <laughs> they're the American man. gang of I, the army. I think juggalos are too fast. America's gang. Are too vast, are too big to be considered anything like that. You know, there's groups of individuals. Yeah, just up. like there's probably a, a murderer that's a juggalo. That's horrible as that is. He has, probably is, you know. Just as there's also know. Girl Scouts that are... Could potentially be murdered. Exactly. Just as we close, we're about to go to the concert. We're hoping to, to film some of that backstage with you. How does it feel as you approach the whole experience of preparing to meet your fans? There's no feeling like it, man. Performing live is like the ultimate treat for us. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what you strive for your whole career. 
to turn a crowd out like that, you know? And we bring the show, you know? We, we, we're not an arena band. We'd love to be an arena band. But we bring an arena show to the club, you know? We bring three semis, three buses, you know? We bring clowns, a ringmaster, showgirls, you know, monsters. We bring everything we can because we're about show business. We're about, you know, theatrics. You know, we don't we don't just step on stage, here we are, you know, spit our rap and leave like most rap acts. I mean, you figure a kid's working all week at Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to buy a ticket for $25, $30, whatever it costs, you know? You don't want to see this some asshole up there just sitting on a stool playing a guitar. You know, you want to see his entertainment. A show, man. We bring confetti, brother. We bring confetti. It's hard not to pass out doing a show. You know, we exert so much energy. You know to the saying? point of Puking just know this. Just know we are constantly an inch away from passing out. <laughs> and I mean, I walk on the stage and throw and up. Puke. You know, we are constantly one step off from passing out because we're giving that much every night. How much longer can you keep painting your faces? singing about stabbing these of yours. There's no spirit. reason we can't do this Rolling Stone style. There's no reason we can't eventually be a Vegas band. What do you think we could be? Yeah. yeah. Come see the Wicked Clowns in Vegas. You know, it's where we have our own theater that's designed for us. We can give the same show every night and the crowd travels instead of us. Hell yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing you. Cool, man. Thank you very much thank for you. giving us thank your thank time. And thank you very much for Thank you. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.